What's up everyone? I'm Sketchy Brett. Welcome to my creative playground. Here in South Africa, we've got a wild bird. It sits about this high. It's scared of heights and you know this because when it flies over, it goes ah, ah! And anybody who's been to South Africa knows exactly what a hardy dog is. We're not just gonna do any boring old hardy da. Today, we're really gonna push the color and make something completely different. The inspiration for this video comes from when I was in grade two. My art teacher set a project to paint a cat. When my mother arrived for the grade two art exhibition to see her son's picture, only to find that out of the entire class, I was the only one who didn't make the exhibition. When my mother asked why, the teacher explained to her that it was because I had painted my cat purple. My mother replied saying, what's the problem with that? He's just using his imagination. And you know what? I haven't stopped. So we're gonna do that now with our Hardy Da. Let's jump straight in. Right, so this is a Hardy Da, an iconic bird in South Africa that is I'm convinced scared of heights because it goes ah, 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 while it's flying. So we don't have a lot of space. So let's have a look here. We've got some big shapes. So let's look at this wing. Okay, we can put that in here and then the head will be somewhere. You know, I kind of just dot around and then it's got this great big peak. That curves in. Now, I'm keeping this entire drawing very loose because we're gonna really have some fun with the color. And if we put too much in now, we are going to lose our ability to do that. So, that's it. That's all we're doing for the sketching. I'm gonna go scan this in for my Patreon supporters who will be able to print it out and do the color along with me, or they'll be able to trace it and build up their confidence in sketching. Okay, so our hardy dar. One thing I've noticed is our hardy dar's beak is a little bit short, so we're just gonna add on a little piece Give him a little bit of a nose job, which is why a lot of people come to Cape Town. I've learned recently. So, colors. You can see from our reference, it's not orange, it's not yellow. It is brown, but not for the reasons we're going to use it. And I might even grab some Payne's Gray. And the reason is, is because I don't want to use the traditional colors. And I might even throw in some of this chameleon paint, like I used on the peacock project. I want this to be very splodgy, I think is the word. I'm no longer using the reference because I am now creating this out of my head. I'm creating, I'm not replicating.
We've got this nice red patch up here. If we remember on the uh, reference, which I don't want to lose because that was really striking. I'm gonna add some Prussian blue to this mix just to make it even darker. So that's paint gray, Prussian blue, and some raw umber. Let's give me a dark blue toned gray. Now with very watered down, we can place him down onto either a branch. Maybe, yeah, let's do a branch. But very suggestive of, rather than a great big branch, we want to make sure it's very secondary to the rest of the image and not distract from our focal point. Now, because we're playing around, I want to try bring in some of these chameleon paints. These will look different colors from different angles, very much like you would see on this type of bird. And there we have our, I think we'll call it a festival or an Africa burn hardy dar. And here we have our final image where we've taken a reference image and really let our imagination run wild to end up with something very different, but very pleasing. And there it is, our bright orange and yellow with a little bit of chameleon shine, Hardy Da. It was nice to push my imagination again, and I hope you are doing the same. If you're looking for more watercolor inspiration, here's a video that's gonna keep you going. If you're looking to mix it up a little, here's one of my charcoal videos that I'm sure you're going to enjoy. And until next time, keep it sketchy.